to be diligent at protecting our schools. Uh, the, most, the most precious things we have in our country is our children. Coach Frank Hall not only survived the Chardon school shooting, he helped stop it. Our Tara Molina shows us what he's now trying to change in every school. He stared down the barrel of a gun, dodged a bullet in a school cafeteria. Coach Frank Hall has been there. So every single one of these school shootings is personal. For him, they're painful. Now doing whatever he can to put an end to them. Uh, in the uh, main hall by the office. Main hall by the office. Six years ago, he chased shooter TJ Lane, automatic weapon in hand, through the hallways of Chardon High School and outside the building after facing him head on, dodging the bullet when he pulled the trigger. The man walking this hallway embodies courage. And six years later, Coach Frank Hall is widely considered a hero, a lifesaver. But it's the three lives cut short, another paralyzed. It's, it's tough. That February of 2012, that he's still thinking about. You think about Danny and Demetrius, Demetrius and Russell, and um, you know you just keep telling yourself that they're not going to die in vain. The community he's been a part of that understands what school shooting is once small, and uh, unfortunately that community is growing bigger and bigger. He's fighting right now to put an end to it, put an end to these. In seven to ten days, the nation's going to forget about this. You know we can't let that happen. His fight through this. House Bill 318. We felt the need for SROs, school resource officers, uh, it was so important to be in schools. The bill defines what a school resource officer is, currently not in Ohio's code, and details increased training. We want the best qualified uh, for our children, and that's what we're uh, aiming for. It's step one for Hall and the Coach Hall Foundation with an ultimate goal in mind. Our goal is to put a resource officer at every school in America. That he's going to push for as long as it takes. Just seeing that police car parked out front of a school, um, it makes a huge difference. Not just for the school shooting aspect of it, but to have someone in there every day that a student can rely on. Now his bill is in the Senate right now. He's hoping for some good news this spring. For more information on his foundation and that bill, you can head over to our News 5 app. Reporting in Chardon, I'm Tara Molina, News 5.